Hello. Hello, gorgeous. A lot of McDonald's in here. Those are That's, all the new lines. Yeah. Good morning you guys another early morning for me checked my cameras but there was no lambs interesting two days until due date they usually surprise me earlier than this but i'm not complaining we are gonna work away this morning at another little group of ewes to hoof trim just like yesterday so we'll see if we have any moments as you will to take someone to her father because she can't handle the cold quite as good as Kinsey. Come on. Let's go. Come here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yep. Let's go. Come on. Can you call her? Nice to see you. You stay with him. It's cold out there. No, we'll see. Whoa. Come here. Come here. There you go. Bye. Why are you weaving me? <laughs> no, sorry, you guys stay. It's too cold. Every day you come to say hello. Hello. Oops. Would you prefer this hand? It's lovely. <laughs> no? I don't blame you.
You apologizing for nipping at their heels? We just finished uh, another 30-ish use this morning. I think I only have 20 left for tomorrow. I'm rewarding myself with a cup of coffee. Just waiting patiently for these beautiful creatures to give me some babies. It looks so nice down here. You guys have to see this. This is my view. Sorry about my dirty window. Best thing about being up here is spying on Big Mama. She's right there at the back. I think I'm going to take a little tour and see if there's anyone looking close. Hello, gorgeous. Don't walk away from me. Where are you going? Big Mama, slow down. See your editor? There's like nothing there. <sighs> this one looks close. Er. Nothing. Are you saying Bella? Are we close? I don't think so. You're in the corner, little lady. Are you in the corner for a reason? Nope. She's so needy. She's right in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And their eyes are like falling asleep. Lucy. <laughs> oh yes. Hello. 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 Too close. Too close. <laughs> yes. Is it lunchtime? Can we go eat? Just finished lunch. And if you guys have been with me long enough. You're no stranger to the love affair I have with zip ties, duct tape, and twine, baler twine, for fixing things. Um, the other day, I put up those Christmas lights, and Mark noticed, and I noticed, actually, after I hung them, I've got a couple droopy spots that are driving me a little crazy. So I do have the zip ties. I think where they are, though, I think it'd probably be safer if I grab a ladder, but the ladder really freaks out the use. So I don't know what to do. If I should just do some climbing. I think I might be a monkey and climb and not fall. That's the goal this afternoon. Enjoy. There was a lot more saggy spots than I thought. So I have three zip ties left. We will check that at desk and see if we notice a difference. I think I will because I'm not OCD about everything, but some, some things I am, which is concerning. All right, I gotta go help Mark. I think you can go this oh, way. No, I, I think, think it's gotta go in. I can grab a hammer and there's this. It was 17. What do you guys? Um, when we sold this to you guys, I thought it had the European hooks on the 
draft links. Oh. And it didn't. Did we miss it? No, I missed it. Oh. The tractor that they've got now has the hooks on it that we want. Okay. But they don't want them. They want this. Oh. So, so we're, we're, just, gonna we're just gonna do a flip. Sweet. Okay, while those boys are doing that, I'm gonna start cleaning up this shop and it is so bad. So bad, so, so bad. Oh, and just a whole lot of beer cans on the lumber table. There's a lot of beer cans. All right, well, it's not 100%, but it's a start. We can almost see the workbench. This week we have been tiling a couple fields. Tiling means field drainage. So uh, we get a crew in, uh, they're doing a couple farms for us. Two farms or three farms? Three farms, I think, uh, especially after this year. A good reminder that we need it. I think I explained this in a video a while ago, but I always get this question because I always say tiling and people are thinking that I mean like floor tile. <laughs> so yeah, like the culvert, the plastic kind of culvert tile, that's what we're using under the ground. Look at me like I know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go for a tour. Mark, the child, and me. I think the child's already in there. tile into so that's how much it's running already from the lines they picked up here. That's crazy. Those and are all the new lines. Yeah. Wow. That's how much water is already coming out yeah. of that field. Whoa. And yeah. then this what's this one? That's the old one. So it's draining some of the upper part of the holy yeah. So this was that big hole the water was up to here. Really? It was backed up that far? Yeah and then I got it all cleared off. That is a big hole. It's been here, it's like Niagara Falls. Yeah? I cannot believe the water. What? So this is all surface water from the fields. This is all draining off our fields. Wow. It's all wet it is. Yeah. Wish we could bottle it up and take it out west. That stuff's muddy because of the uh, Connections and stuff. Oh yeah, because this is well. Look how clean the old one is compared to this one. Clean water, Mr. Brock. Good job. Lucy, come on. So that's the tile. Yeah, that's the main. That's the main. I'd be one of them.
spending all my money. Oh well, besides <laughs> that. So he's putting perforated pipe in the ground, the white stuff that you saw is tile. Right. And basically because of the pressure on the soil from the water content, it seeps through the little slits in the tile. And then because of topography and the way they run it, it all goes out to where we were standing over there, uh, where the outlet is. So what we're trying to do is reduce the amount of water in the field and kind of lower the field capacity for, for water. So the roots have more oxygen to grow in because if you have an anaerobic condition, which is too much water in the soil, not enough air, the plants struggle. And we're trying to make sure that we have that right balance. And the only way we can really do it here is with tile. Thank you. He's kind of giving her. Now when, oh, it's like a disc on the front. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, how much longer can they go just till frost? Till they can't pull the tile. We got our work cut out for us in the spring. Yeah, stones. Stones. We don't have that much back in there. And that's they have pretty good, so mostly a decent grade. Yeah. So the, the black ones are the mains and the white ones are the yeah. field tiles? So that's where they, they're called laterals. Right. So they pull them off a main. And this one they left the space because they're going up with a big tile yeah. up this way. Right. So they, that's got a key to put on there. I wondered at first why they didn't connect it, and then it's laying over there, I think. Oof. Skin the cat. I think my uh, lovely little doggy got cold this afternoon and got my door open. The latch doesn't work very good. So now my office doesn't smell so much like wood but more like sheep well we made it through another day um the tile job looks hard but amazing um mark's dad actually stopped by mark and his dad like looking at field tile maps and where the old tiles are and they talk they can talk about field tiles for hours <laughs> i really hope my lambing starts soon my vlogs are going to be quite boring until that happens but i'm loving vlogmas because i'm I get to show more of you guys like us instead of just the sheep. We we are a little multifaceted uh, and the only thing you guys really ever see is the sheep. Maybe you like that. I like getting to know you guys as well so I like to take this time at the end of the videos if you missed yesterday's video um, to go through your comments. So what I do is I just I just uh, sort by top comments. So when you guys like a comment, it filters to the top. So the number one comment, uh, it's from the Stupor, Stupor, Stupor. <laughs> uh, These videos are such a learning tool, Sandy. Ignore the complainers on Instagram. Uh, they complain about the taxes after winning a lottery. Yeah, that's actually, it's in their DNA. Very much appreciate you always making room for your fans to tag along and hang out. The one thing about the, de the holidays is I, I get used to the lights, the decorations, the Christmas tree, and your holiday intro. When January rolls around and everything goes back into boxes, that is when I get sad for a minute or three and then snap out of it and keep strutting. Cheers from Ohio. That's so awesome. Thank you for that. I live for Christmas and for Vlogmas. It's just something I, I attempted to do my very first year, uh, picking up the camera and, and doing this YouTube thing. And uh, it was really good for me for practice on how to edit, how to take footage, how to be dedicated enough to show up every day, which is tougher than you guys might think. So thank you for that. And I agree, I hate it when January comes around too, but uh, uh, we're gonna enjoy Vlogmas when we have it. So this one has 280 likes on it uh, from Denise Weber. I recently shared some lambing videos with my mom who has been diagnosed with dementia. We were in the doctor's waiting room and she was a little nervous. We had a great time together and she said she understands why I love watching you. I wonder if you ever imagined your channel would reach so far beyond your prof professional audience, 
but there are comments all over your videos showing how special you are. You are a bright light. That is so sweet. Thank you, Denise, for reaching out, and uh, I'm sure it's hard to go through what you're going through. So um, my heart goes out to you and your mom, and uh, I, I get a lot of messages like this, and um, I'm always blown away and, and humbled and honored, and usually my response is this. I'm glad I can give you a little bit of distraction, whether funny or sad or happy, hopefully happy, hopefully not too sad. I'm just glad I can be a distraction for people that are really struggling. So thank you for reaching out. Lots of you are talking about deer and telling me what an eight point buck is. I did ask Mark last night what it was. Uh, and a lot of you are very supportive of the whole hunt thing, which is, I really hesitated taking any footage of that just because I'm never really sure um, if my audience, I, I know a lot of audience are animal lovers as I am, but as you guys reminded me, it's population control, disease control, Deer can get out of control fast and they destroy crop. So uh, thank you for the kind comments and uh, Mark is very proud of his um, deer hunting and we're actually, he is making us deer tenderloin tonight. So um, I'm excited because we use a bunch of bearded butcher spices and they're kind of our go-to and uh, Mark watched like, I don't even know, I think it felt like it was an hour video last night on how to prep the deer so we're I'm excited to try it and I will report back tomorrow as to how that tasted. Let's do this one because it came right to the top. Lori B. I am a 70 year old woman living in an apartment in Grand Rapids, Michigan and I'm interested in everything you do. Quick question, do you and Mark ever just sit on the couch and relax? You guys wear me out. Okay, remember that these videos are 23 minutes long. That's always my goal. There's 24 hours in a day, so there's lots you guys don't see. I don't sit still well. I don't do it well unless I am in a YouTube video, watching a YouTube video or watching Netflix. And even at that, I have to be very careful with Netflix because I can get into a show and then not sleep. Typically, I'm a YouTube viewer and watcher, and that's the only time you'll really see me sitting down. That's typically when I'm making supper. I'll just watch videos while supper's being cooked. The rest of the time I'm editing. I edit a lot and vlogmas, I'm doing this every day. Mark, however, likes his couch time with his dog. They have their little routine. So um, he very much is uh, okay with the couch. Me, I'd rather just be productive doing something else. All right, guys. That is it for today. Let's go see how these lights turned out today after all my hard work and sore body from all the climbing. I'm just glad I didn't fall. Mm -hmm.